So I'm going to go through the other side of the head on how to apply through the side um, a balayage. So it's gonna be pretty similar, depending on the thickness of your client's hair. You're gonna take a section like so, angled back section. For her, we can take bigger sections. Since it's a balayage, we're not going up to the scalp. We don't have to be worried about making it look very stripey. So we can take bigger sections, but not too big so that we know that all of the product is going to be soaking through the hair. Start down here. And I like to put all of my balayages in a foil. so that we know those pieces of hair are going to get bright enough. I have to go a little closer up towards the hairline and work my way down and always use the side of the brush. Keep that brush open and then work gently down. And for balayage, if they're in a foil to create, to avoid from creasing too much, I'll just sandwich another foil on top. Fold only once. And then lock in the foil. Another good size section. For this one, I'll show you, you can also tease. This is what people would like to call a teasy highlight. This just helps create more of a blurred line and through this foil. Apply product through the ends and then work your way up. That's gonna help avoid harsh lines because we want our balayage to look good straight as it does curled as well. Add my foil, stick my top. Sometimes when I get to this section, I get a pretty decent size. Tease it up. 